heard you, or I heard you in the triple five there a bit back, but it obviously noisy your way. I give you a call, but no, I'm the only one here. Only the only WR there in the 68 division there. There was three of us there, and uh, I'm the I think I'm the last one standing there. No, no more world radio in the 68. Uh, there's a few on the in the 29, but over. Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure, and that fell below. Uh, this wee antenna there, I don't know if you're familiar with them there, but very, very small there. Extremely portable there, I just put it a uh, <laughs> breaker down there and she goes into the back of the car. I also have a telescopic, uh, a telescopic mast there I bought off the old eBay. Uh, in better in better weather conditions there, it's actually it's six by five foot aluminium sections there, it slides together. Uh, also they're very handy there, throw it into the back of the car there and head away off. Um, we cannot work there from the home base there. Uh, don't work from the house there due to uh, the TV. Bad television antenna uh, installation there, uh, <laughs> you get what I mean. No problem, Phil. Uh, no problem at all. Yeah, no, I was just saying there. I don't know if you're maybe you are familiar. You're with the little mops in there. Uh, very, very small. Uh, very, very portable there. Breaks down. As I say, it all heck into the car. <laughs> Plenty of space. And uh, also there in the summer there, or when the weather's better than what it is there, we have a wee, uh, well, a 30 foot aluminium, uh, it's a 6 by 5 sections there, aluminium pole there, which. Uh, telescopic and it's quite handy there uh, you put all together there you're up and running there in about 20 minutes there but uh, yeah we do not work there from the home base there as I say uh, I was saying don't work from the home base due to uh, the television there the, the neighbours there bad neighbours are more or less uh, saying they're getting TV interference oh, okay, well, uh, I thought most people over there were on the satellite though uh, it's not, it, uh, I guess they still use the antennas anyway we do that too here we have antennas I have uh, Yeah, fine business, yeah. I know what you're saying. Uh, well, uh, well, the antenna was up there for, what, 15, 20 years on and off there before uh, <laughs> we had a little uh, a little disagreement there over the... They have uh, dogs there and they were sort of barking continuously and uh, I uh, more or less asked them, <laughs> rather than going and reporting it, I told them, uh, I said, if it's not stopped there, I'm going, it'll be reported. And they did not take to it very kindly, as I say. Uh, <laughs> their reply was to uh, report my uh, little uh, antenna at home there. <laughs> you know, uh, strange how people work, over. hear much about it really Phil. Um, uh, only there and the, maybe if something uh, the like of interference or something but in general there it's something that's never mentioned uh, it's something that's never mentioned uh, since the license was it used to be the license there for the FM over here since it was done away with there uh, never hear of anyone there having any but any complaints or anyone going to them but um 
But I think they were, t they were talking about it, whether it's legal or not, I don't know, but through um, legalising the old uh, the old uh, AM frequencies on SFB, whatever, <laughs> whatever they're at, but uh, I don't read too much into it, uh, Phil, to be honest. Um, as I say there, I'm uh, go out there mobile and uh, go and sit there on private ground there, so <laughs> we're annoying no one, over. Yeah, likewise there, likewise uh, I'm quite uh, quite quite happy with the whole free band and uh, yeah you were saying earlier there about the interference there and uh, <coughs> the coming out to see it. Well uh I don't know, that's uh, very very common here. You're you're very lucky if you don't uh, uh a few home base uh, uh at home there at the moment if I'm sitting near the house in the car, even listening there, the noise is absolutely terrible. Um put down to broadband and everything else there that's going but even they're driving around the countryside there, there's certain areas you know if you have the radio on listen to turn it off because you'll get screeches and uh, all sorts of weird noises there. But uh, it must be all to do with this technology there because I remember years ago throughout the 80s there, um, all through the 1980s there, I never knew what it was like to hear interference. Oh. Days there now, it'll make it a lot more, <coughs> a lot more easy to, easier in the year now. Definitely, um, I, uh, I don't even bother there with the short way of listening at home no more because um, uh, the other, all the electrical noise coming through it there, it uh, just spoils the whole thing there. It spoils, it spoils it all there. But, um, just wanted to say to you, well there, I'm uh, just actually re recording there. The we cam here, actually recording. I just wanted to ask you, would you, would you mind there? I just put our week to so on uh, the uh, Wii YouTube channel there, Albert. Uh, sorry, what was that you were uh, recording? Is that, is that what you were saying, Marty? Sorry? Uh, Roger, yeah, Phil. I was just wondering there, would, uh, would you mind there? Would you mind there if I uh, just uh, put our Wii QSO on uh, the YouTube channel, Albert? And that's, actually, that's why I actually just started uh, recording this area. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very, very good there. Uh, crystal clear there and uh, a good strong signal. I'm just looking there at my wee antenna here beside the car. It's uh, it's swaying about there. So uh, <laughs> the signal, uh, you're, you're anywhere 9 there. Between 9 and 20 over 9 there. The, the, the beam there with the, the, the wind blowing here, it's sort of going anywhere between west, <laughs> north and west there. It's going back and forth. But uh, uh, no damage sir. The the, pro the propagation is just that strong. It's not really uh, making any difference over. Yeah, okay, well, so, well, thank you very much, Marty. And uh, uh, I guess uh, how, how do I uh, go on the YouTube? Just punch in your your uh, uh, 
world radio number or something? Is that how we'll be able to check it out there, Roger? Well, you could uh, you could do it uh, that way, Phil, or I, I could actually tag your call sign. Uh, that would mean all you'd have to do is just put your own call sign in there. Just put your own call sign there. That's the way I usually would do it there. It'd be uh, quite a far hand there, really. Oh, Roger, on that. All right, that sounds cool. And, uh, yeah, that'll give me something to do later on when there's no, uh, no DXing going on. I can check that out, and uh, I'll show the wife and that, too. That'd be awesome. Yeah, and uh, getting back to the hydro guys, uh, if they don't come and fix it, I'll, I'll turn their power off. Hey, I, I work in a nuclear station, so we provide the power, they distribute it, so they better fix it, Roger. <laughs> oh, no. Well, they need you. <laughs> they need you, um, Phil. Where's your? Well, Phil, just looking at my, uh, looking at the time. It's just uh, gone. It's just gone three o'clock here, and uh, I should have actually have meant to have been packed up at three. So I'm just uh, going to clear here. So um, three o'clock. I, I about seven o'clock. Four hours time there. I left that on there. I'll go down and do a few things here, and uh, I'll throw that on for you. Just let it'll let you it'll let you see how you're starting anyway. This direction. So Phil, I, I'll tie it up there with this over. Ah, uh, friend, I uh, uh, really enjoyed the Q show, and um, we'll uh, work a wee bit further down the down the lane. Okay, Phil, back around you for any finals there. Um, triple two uh, from zero forty eight. Okay, uh, ciao, ciao.